Chris Johnson, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today, my man. Uh, mate, I always love chatting with you. And uh, I guess a key part of your success over the past three months is showing up to uh, every coaching call that we've been having. So, mate, I'm super excited to jam with you on this. Mate, My problem was finding a way and getting motivated to lose weight. And why do you think that was? Well, two years ago, I had lost weight uh, using like keto type methods. And uh, the holiday seasons that followed the la last two holiday seasons, I was gaining the weight. Back. I was having problems trying to do specifically do that diet and or figuring out anything else to do that would help with the weight. So uh, initially, um, following like a keto style plan, was like it was working, obviously? It, I mean, if I would have been diligent and really hammered down, and because I had talked to somebody and gave me a list of foods to eat, and I, for whatever reason, had a hard time trying to locate where I had that list. I sort of knew some of the things to eat, but... That's when I talk about not only the way, but I thought the motivation as well. Because okay. sometimes you can, a person can have a plan, but you still have to be able to execute it and keep executing it. I am 51 years old and I am a environmental health engineer. So you sort of sedentary a fair bit during the day? I sit most of the day. <laughs> I do not really out of the office. Uh, I review plans that we receive through a portal. So I review plans on a computer screen. So yep. yes, I have a sit down job. I'll say almost two part and then I'll explain. It, it, it would have been under normal circumstances in person and price. If I, without COVID, ideally I would have wanted a personal trainer that I physically would have met with most likely at a gym. The other thing would be how much would it cost? But COVID, <laughs> uh, and seeing that you were showing how to do uh, videos or how to do exercises in your house, I uh, and and with talking with you and and coming up with plans of doing multiple exercises in the house that can meet different body parts, that was great. And then when we discussed the price or the amount of time that I would be working with you. Uh, the, the, the price reasonable. There was only one other time that I had worked with a personal trainer and it was at gym and I only had the person for like four or six weeks. Almost sort of like one of those introductory when you join the gym, they hook up with the person and they give you that real low introductory type of pricing thing. Um, and that was, ooh, that was over 10 years ago. Yeah. So I don't know that I really had a whole lot of built up, like I didn't have like a checklist for you. Gotcha. I knew in the back of my mind that as you talked about nutrition, there are some things that I knew and I was hoping I would hear you say them or I would hear you be able to further elaborate. And when we do have our Zoom meeting, you are able to uh, suggest certain things that I have heard and you're able to go in depth. And then the funny thing is I'm able to research and find that what you're saying is quite true. To the extent that I knew certain things that health and fitness should generally entail, I, I did have my ears looking in for those types of things. and. Like I said, based off of our meetings and the things that you were suggesting, I'm like, yeah, he's got me headed 
in the right direction with the, the three-pronged approach, the eating clean, you know, counting calories and exercise. Well, it's uh, perfect that you asked that based on what I was just talking about, the three-pronged approach. By using a three-pronged approach to weight loss, yeah. which like I said, was eating cleaner, uh, calorie limiting, and, uh, and the exercise, I have lost 20 pounds or nine kilos yeah. in 12 weeks, which is one fourth of your yearly program. Uh, the future seems uh, a lot lighter and brighter for me. Wow. I feel and look better. And yeah. I'm starting to believe that in the remaining nine months, I will be able to keep this going after the training. Chris, what, what's I've probably sort of a, uh, the answer the two-parter to that yeah mate incredible and i always say this is always the beginning it's just the beginning and we're just getting started so i said basically the utilization of the free downloadable app which is funny because the first four weeks maybe almost the first six but definitely the first four weeks of the 12-week program I did not download it. I was not using that. Um, once we, once I started using the My Fitness Pal, which is yeah. free downloadable app, uh, that allowed me to track what I was eating. Uh, it allowed us to get the calories that I was eating daily and weekly. Yep. It allowed us to see if we, if I was he hitting our protein goals that we're having daily and weekly. And then all the other, there's a whole bunch of other information that it's given me. Yep. And I've kind of used that, even though our, our focus is calorie consumption and protein for the most part. Yep. Um, along with me doing the exercise and eating clean, then I'm, do, I'm doing the program. But I, I have to admit, I really am excited and I excitedly talk to other people about the My Fitness Pal aspect for the calorie running. Dude. And just to give the audience a bit of um, uh, context to this. Well, see, that, that's the beauty of this. I am consumed with the app. I'm consuming less, but I'm eating more nutrient-dense food. See, unfortunately, if you're not tracking, and if you aren't a dietitian, and you don't know that this item that I'm eating has this many calories, this much sugar, this much fat, this much cholesterol, this much protein, unless you, only a dietitian might would be able to do it without tracking and they, but they don't know how, how much they're eating. Because this also makes me look at the amount I eat. It, it makes me look at what I eat and yep. what's in what I eat. And I do sort of think about the amounts that I eat because that's the, the way you track this in a yep. sense. So it, it helps. I did write, it, it, it helps me make better food choices throughout the day. Love that, man. The Leeway Fitness offers a three-pronged approach to weight loss. I know from personal experience, I tried one thing, and surprisingly, in, the one thing worked for a while. It's much easier to sit on a stool that has three legs as opposed to a stool that only has one leg. Ooh. One leg, you're balancing on that stool. Two legs, you're balancing. Three legs, you're supported. Anyways, I, I also say that, you know, the, the clean or cleaner, the at-home exercises, especially given the COVID-19 and the calorie tracking. And then there's the one-week Zoom meetings to discuss the program, talk about our progress in terms of each of the people on the Zoom meeting, and then we go over various informational items, and we had times where we talk of stuff that are just inspirational. So the program is nicely put together. 
in terms of three ways to approach fat loss along with conversation, discussion, and inspiration type things. Yeah. Mate, I noticed we the had- The walking is good as well. Implementing the walking separate from the exercise. Yeah. And uh, mate, it, no, it wasn't all uh, fat loss and weight loss uh, chats. We had a lot of uh, just general life chats, didn't we? Over the last 90 days. Yes. Insp the good thing is I didn't even, I didn't put inspiration in a bounds. We, there were thought provoking type conversations. A lot of them would lend towards inspiration. But yeah, it, 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 it was, it, a lot of it dealt with lifestyle and that's beauty. Yep. is as you do this, this is a lifestyle change. And that's what will probably make this uh, more successful for an individual is when they start realizing that the process is leading towards a lifestyle change. One thing I'd say is this process in a great way to handle uh, some of the stress of this global pandemic that we're in. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are stressed, really stressed. People talk about it at home with my family, friends, uh, co-workers, and a lot of people, if they're not conscious, they're gaining weight because people are sympathy eating or comfort food eating. Yeah. Um, so this has been a great way to handle stress. Uh, of this global pandemic. Um, also, I have uh, new contacts in, in the land under Australia. Uh, There's two people that I know in Australia that I did not know before. Well, I reside in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and as we found each other on a post on LinkedIn, I am on LinkedIn yeah. as well. So, um, <laughs> dude um it's crazy how things happen like um i left a comment on a post on linkedin just so the audience knows and uh chris seen it and then checked out my profile and then uh you know we got chatting in the in the message and uh this is where we are now mate so chris thank you so much for today man um i'm super thankful and grateful to be working with you and mate, this is just the beginning. We've got another nine months together. So I'm super pumped to see what we can do with that and uh, start maintaining those results as well. So Chris, thank you so much, man. Uh, really appreciate you. And uh, mate, looking forward to what's to come. Glad to have met you. Thank you for helping me meet some goals and uh, to get here. Boom. And uh, what were we gonna say? There is another thought in terms of, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? And we've talked about this and we all let this slip. At this point, I'm not, the, the blood pressure medication is oh, yes. just sitting in the shelf. Dude, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Let's jam on that. Well, I have been prescribed blood pressure medication and been taking it the last 20 years. Um, I've had doctors during physicals, it always encouraging me to exercise. And I sort of saw that when I wasn't exercising, then all of a sudden the dosages were increasing in the last, in these last three or four years. And, um, it wasn't the goal, but in doing this program, all of a sudden I'm starting to feel lightheaded and my legs are starting to feel heavy. And I remembered the doctor that prescribed them to said, if you ever mistakenly take two pills, your legs can feel heavy and or you may feel lightheaded. Well, when that happened two or three times in a week, I incidentally had to go see a doctor in June uh, to get more prescriptions. And I explained to him, I said, oh yeah, he said, with you doing this program and you're losing weight and you're changing your eating, the eating and the weight are what primarily probably had you needing to take this. Um, you know, it can be heredity too. But nevertheless, 
uh, as we've worked through this program, uh, these first 12 weeks, I've been able to not, these last three or, three or four weeks, I have not really had the need. Nice, so nice. Uh, that was a great, un, a great unbanned side effect. Mate, that's, and there's so many people out there <laughs> that would still be like, um, not seeing any uh, future for themselves to be actually able to be, get off that medication as well. So, mate, that was one goal that you wanted to achieve as well, wasn't it? When we first sat down. Yep. Once you have to think about goals. Yep. Dude, super proud. <laughs> Chris, great chatting, dude. And I hope um, I hope the audience got some value out of this, mate. You're the real hero in this journey, and uh, I'm super excited, as I always say, for what's to come. So, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate your time, man. Yep. Cheers, buddy. All right, then. <laughs>